Uh, this is part three of the uh, tractor project. And, uh, well, let me get right to it. have to do a little bit of uh, machining. And, uh, by the way, I just put that uh, lamp on my lathe because I couldn't see diddly. And I have to cut these uh, um, uh, adapter plates up to mount a uh, uh, trailer tire on my uh, tractor. And I showed before that I was cutting them out of plate. Well, uh, you wouldn't think it, but to make a round, often you have to start out with a square. And th this is how I, I've learned to kind of do it. I wish I had a four jaw. I got one on order and coming. I wouldn't have to do this if I had a four jaw. But j as you can see, I, uh, I just take the uh, piece of metal and I, uh, see if I can get in there on macro. And uh, I drill a center hole in it, and then I just uh, oh boy. then I just jam the uh, the live center up against the piece and hold it against the uh, the three jaw chuck. Uh, nothing's holding it there except friction, you can see. And uh, it's kind of scary. Um, it does slip now and then as you pu push the tool into it. You have to be real careful. Uh, but when it slips, you just uh, pull the tool out and, and stop and, and reset up. Uh, you can see there's not too much wobble right here right now, but after it slips, that'll wobble up and down, and then you just uh, pull it out and push it in again, and, and you're back to being true. Uh, I wouldn't say this is super accurate, but it, it gets her done. And here's one I cut, uh, cut yesterday, uh, cut out, so uh, it's well on its way. Now, once I get it like this, I can stick it in the three jaw with the chucks rever uh, the chuck jaws reversed, and cut the uh, the center part for the uh, for the hubs. Yeah, boy, they're getting it done. Okay, I just want to mention that uh, about halfway through the uh, the cutting process, I uh, redrill the uh, center on the other side, and then. Uh, stick it back um, in the lathe and cut from the other side and that way this uh, this groove here uh, doesn't get too deep it's harder to, to dig in a deep hole and uh, you know you need tool clearance so it's a little trick uh, uh, for cutting if, if I had a bigger lathe with a lot more beef and and you know I probably could just cut all through one end but this is a, a smaller lathe and uh, tends to chatter and tends things tend to slip. So I cut and I cut and I cut and eventually the piece falls off. I forget what I call that. I guess it's tray panning. Tray panning on a center. So now I can uh, get to switching around the uh, three jaw chuck and that'll be the next uh, uh, video me holding it that way and boring out the hole for the uh, for the hubs which I have to bore in that piece and uh, put it in weld it and then uh... all right as you can see this is my uh, setup now that I uh, I got the uh, piece of plate steel to be round I uh, got some turned around um, uh, three jaw chuck and I can drill out the center for the uh, the hub. Once I drill it I'll set up for boring and then I can get it uh, pretty accurate to the outside uh, dimension. Once I get them both drilled and bored then I'm going to have to uh, drill the uh, the bolt holes or uh, to put the studs in when you put the tire on. I need both hands to do this. Now I finished drilling the hole and I'm going to uh, bore it out to size and uh, that's a boring tool and the cutters on on this side over here on this side so you come up against the piece and then you move the wheel and you move this out and that'll cut cut the hole to size. 
so I have to cut it to uh, what did I get for a dimension um, 1310 that's uh, 1 inch 0.310 and then from then on I'll, I'll fit it and get it exactly right so uh, see how this works you move it in move this out for your cut in this case we'll take uh, 10 and you see as you move through there it takes a cut and you just keep doing it till you get it to size alright let me use both hands so I don't chop one of them off There you go, there's the board hole. I uh, just measured it and um, this uh, just about goes in. It starts in and I'm going to leave it like that because I can probably press it in and if I press it in I won't have to worry about, uh, I can press it in just where I want it and I won't have to make a, uh, a way of holding it when I weld it, which is always a good idea. That way it'll be nice and true and the wheels won't wobble. So uh, I'm going to clean up the uh, corners a little bit and then do the other one, the other uh, plate for the uh, left hand side.